A few tips that are really useful when you're making fresh pasta is number one, the quality of ingredient is just absolutely paramount. It's just going to end in a much better final product. We also have unique uh, templates that could help you as well. Yeah. Uh, you can put a sheet of pasta on there, put your filling in there, and roll it out, which makes it a little easier and makes your little your ravioli a little more uniform. It's fresh pasta. It's super tacky. And if you put a lot of pressure on it, if you handle it real rough, it's just going to come together in a in a ball of, of dough, which isn't nice. Uh, liberally uh, sprinkle your your flour and your semolina between your layers so it doesn't stick together, and just feel free to use that. As, as much as you need to, to keep that nice, delicate texture. Right, and don't underestimate the egg yolk. You know, that's the really the important thing here too, is using really beautiful um, egg yolks and eggs, because uh, you'll get this really, really beautiful yellow color, and that all comes from the egg yolks itself. Yeah. Another important point is don't overfill your pasta. You know, so you can see Marcus here, he just put a little dollop of, of filling in the middle, if you don't, it will seep out on you and the pasta will break. So he did a great job of just a, a little goes a long way. And when you're making filled pasta like this, we'll make a tortellini here. When you get to this point, you really want to push out as much air as you can. So the only thing in there is filling because when you drop that in the boiling water, the air is going to expand and your ravioli is going to break your tortellini or whatever you're making. All right. So we'll, we'll do a little uh, half moon there. And then we'll just tuck it in, pinch those corners together. We have a nice little tortellini. And with a fresh dough, all you really need is a little bit of water, and that acts as your glue around the seams. So we'll take that circle, it's filled with our filling. You can fill it with whatever you want. In this case, we have a little, what was that, butternut squash and ricotta. Here at Piatello, you know, we decided our vision was to make fresh pasta. Um, it's pretty, I, I think the reason we decided on that was because it was really unique to Fort Worth. So 100% of our pastas are made every morning um, by hand. All right, so those are a few tips that will help you at home when you're making fresh pasta. Probably the easiest way is just come by here and get some of Scott's wonderful creations. Yeah, come see us at Piatello.